I created a custom GPT that's helping me write faster. I'm not a coder or a techie. Anybody can do the same. And I'm going to walk through what you need to get started with your custom GPT. It's pretty easy to create a custom ChatGPT, but you will need ChatGPT Plus or ChatGPT4, and that's gonna cost you $20 per month. Once you're set up, navigate to Explore GPTs so you can see what's out there. This might give you a little bit of inspiration. So there are custom GPTs for images, for research, programming, education, and in my case, writing. Some of these were quite good, and some of these I didn't really get a lot of use from, which is why I decided to go ahead and create my own custom GPT instead. Simply click on the green button at the top right-hand corner of the page. You'll be presented with two options. So you can create your ChatGPT by talking to ChatGPT and explaining what you want to do, or you can click configure. So I could paste in something like, I want to create a custom ChatGPT that changes from the passive to the active voice. ChatGPT will start by proposing a name. In this case, it wants to call it Voice Transformer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. Once I click yes, ChatGPT will give me four conversational starters on the right-hand side of the screen. Change this sentence to the active voice, convert the following to the active voice and so on. And I can customize these later on. It'll also present me with an image that I can use for this custom ChatGPT that's based on DALI. So in this case, I'm happy with this. So I'm just going to click yes. Now ChatGPT will ask for some additional context. In this case, it wants to know what type of sentences it's going to convert the most. I've elaborated a little bit on the prompt. I'm going to give you sentences in the passive voice and you will rewrite them without changing the meaning or context. The dinner was eaten by the man changes to the man ate his dinner. Then I'm going to click send message. Now the custom ChatGPT is ready for me to try. So I'm going to go over to the right hand side of the screen and I'm going to click on the first conversation starter. Can you change this sentence to the active voice? Once you're happy with the GPT, remember to click save and you have three different options so you can publish it for your own use. You can send it to people with a link and I'm going to put a link below this video so you can try it out or you can make it available to everyone. And I understand that once it's available to everyone, it will appear in the marketplace and once revenue share is enabled, you could potentially make a little bit of side income from your custom chat GPT. And you're also going to uh, give it a category. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to leave this set for everyone and I'll give it a name. Once you've gone through the various prompts with ChatGPT, you can head over to the configure section and you can make any changes. So in this case, it's called voice transformer. There's a basic description and here you can see the exact prompt. And these are the four different conversation starters. So I'll click on any one of these to test the ChatGPT. And if I have some more example documents, I could put them below these instructions or I could upload a series of files from my computer. And you can also customize the capabilities that you need, web browsing, DALI image generation and code interpreter. So I'm not gonna turn on those on because I don't need them for something simple like this. So I'm going to test out my custom chat GPT. I'm going to paste in the text video was shared by the writer on social media. And now I'm going to click on my conversation starter. It's asking me to put back in the sentence. So I'm going to press enter and put this back in. The writer shared the video on social media. So this looks good to me for something basic like a passive to active voice rewriter. So I'm going to click save so I can use this for my own use or I could potentially publish it to anyone with a link and I could send this to other writers that I know or I could publish it on the chat GPT market marketplace and give it a category. So in this case, I've selected writing. From what I understand, once it appears on the marketplace, at some point you'll be able to earn revenue from people who decide to use this custom chat GPT. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click confirm. If you do want to enable your custom GPT for revenue share, click on your name, click on settings and beta, and then go to build or profile, turn on your name. And if you have a website, go ahead and add it. To verify your domain, you will need to add a text record to your domain name provider. So there are additional instructions that you can look for elsewhere if you want to follow that step. And you can also decide if you want to receive emails from potential users of your GPT. Now, if at any point you want to make changes to your GPT, simply go back over to Explore GPTs, click on My GPTs, and you should be able to find your particular custom GPT. So what you may want to do is elaborate on the prompt or provide some additional instructions. Here's the takeaway. If you want to create a chat GPT, think of one mundane writing task that you spend a lot of time on. For example, changing from the passive to the active voice or writing headlines, or perhaps coming up with titles for your podcast. You can then create a custom chat GPT if you provide it some examples. Save it and use this as part of your writing process. You can access your custom GPTs at any time by going to explore GPTs and clicking on my GPTs, uh, or you can pin them or hide them from the sidebar at the top left of the screen. Another neat option is you can trigger your custom GPT by using at. So I've opened up 
a standard ChatGPT dialogue box and it's provided some text about the American investor Charlie Munger. So let's say I wanted to rewrite this particular phrase in the active voice. So I'd simply type in at and then I can scroll down and I can look for my voice transformer GPT and then I'm going to put in the conglomerate led by Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett leads the conglomerate. So this is a good way to use your custom GPTs anywhere inside of the application. I built five or 10 custom chat GPTs and I've also explored custom chat GPTs from other users. Here's a couple of ideas that might help you get started. Consider your top performing social media posts. Prepare a library of them and upload them to your custom chat GPT. As an example, I found one particular post format worked well for me on LinkedIn. This is where I describe something I used to do in the past and something that I do now. I'll show you an example. So I'm gonna type in writer writing a book. And now I'm gonna press enter and ChatGPT is gonna give me a post that's written in my voice that I could potentially post on social media. So most writers writing a book do this. And it talks about four common mistakes that writers would make. But this is how you craft a masterpiece. And then it talks about four things that successful writers and authors do. And then it has a call to action or a question at the bottom of the post. So this would work really well for me as a good first draft. Perhaps I would just check that all of these make sense, make a couple of little copy edits and then go ahead and publish it. So to show you how I built this custom GPT, I'm gonna click on edit. I gave it the name beginner expert. I didn't actually upload an image for this one, I probably should. And I created some specific instructions. I told it it's a viral social media writer. So I've told ChatGPT who it is. I've said that I will provide you with an audience, writers and an outcome, writing a book. And then I've explained what the output should be. And I've also said that there should be no emojis and it should follow this template. So most audience do outcome and then it lists off four mistakes. And this is how experts achieve outcome. And then it's listed off four strategies. And then I provided a couple of example posts that have worked well for me already on LinkedIn. And then I put in one conversation starter. Now I suppose if I wanted to share this with other people, I would consider other conversation starters as well. And then if I go back to this custom GPT, just to give you another example of how it could work. This time I'm gonna type in uh, solopreneurs starting a content business. Perhaps I'd have to think a few moments to write something like that. But in this case, the custom GPT has given me a first draft again that I could review before I decide to publish this particular content on LinkedIn. Now, in this case, I put the example social media posts directly into the instructions section, but you don't have to do this. You can actually just upload files from your computer either. So in short, consider what types of social media posts are working for you. Prepare a collection of your best work, upload it to GPT and give it some specific instructions. And this could help you write some first drafts much faster. I've also created a custom chat TPT for creating value propositions. These are a marketing technique for basically saying what you do and who you help online. So in this case, I'm gonna put in health and fitness writer, training people for a marathon. Now the value prop generator has given me five different options that I could use as my boilerplate on my website, on social media, or even to guide some of the content that I'd create. Here's an advanced tool that can help you with your prompts for your custom GPT. In fact, it can help you with ChatGPT full stop. It's called Prompt Perfect. It'll basically optimize your one or two sentence prompts and turn them into something much longer. So as an example, I put in create me a custom ChatGPT that writes viral friendly headlines for social media. And I even had a typo in it. And now Prompt Perfect has given me a full paragraph that I could potentially edit and then use as my prompt for my chatbot. But this is quite helpful if you find the art of prompt writing or customizing your GPT a little bit painful. Now this tool is paid. It will cost you, I think it's $10 a month, but you do get access to a few prompts before you have to pay up. It's not necessary to do it, but it will help you figure out what to put into your custom GPT. If you need a little bit of inspiration about what custom GPTs to create, why not ask ChatGPT based on what you do? So it suggested I create ones for character development, plot generator, historical fiction, poetry composer, and so on. Now I don't write a lot of fiction, so some of these wouldn't be relevant to me. But my takeaway from experimenting with the tool is that a writer should consider something that they do regularly every day or every week. So it could be writing headlines, it could be writing titles for YouTube videos, or it could be changing from the passive to the active voice. If you find yourself doing the same task repeatedly, document what you do and turn that into a custom GPT. Or if you need inspiration, just simply head over to the ChatGPT marketplace and look under the writing category. I will put a link to my custom GPT below this video so you can try it out for yourself. And if you have questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section.